it's time once again for Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is kind of a mystery. If you're lost, and that's what happened here, Luna, Chip, and Inky in Which Way Back, written by Michael Mays, illustrated by Rory O'Sullivan. Which Way Back. Now, this book was copyright in 2013. Are you ready? Here we go. One sunny afternoon, Luna, Chip, and Inky were skipping rocks across Eagle Lake. Luna was looking for a flat rock to skip and saw a butterfly on a blade of grass. Wow, that's the biggest butterfly I've ever seen, Luna said. Chip and Inky rang over to see it too. Startled, the butterfly flew up over their heads and fluttered off into the forest. Let's follow it! Chip shouted and he ran into the forest, chasing after the butterfly. Luna and Inky ran after Chip, jumping over logs and ducking under branches, trying to catch up. Wait for us, Inky yelled, but Chip was fast. He was getting farther and farther ahead. When they finally caught up with Chip, he was standing on a rock by a creek, looking into the sky. Chip, we found you, Luna said. Found me, Chip said. I wasn't even lost, but I lost the butterfly. Oh, well, Chip shrugged and hopped down from the rock. I think we'd better get back to Eagle Lake, Luna said. They had explored lots of places near Eagle Lake, but they had never been this far from home before. They had never seen this part of the forest. Isn't this Eagle Creek? Chip asked. I don't think so, Inky said. Let's just go back the way we came, Luna suggested. Luna, Chip, and Inky looked around. They couldn't tell which way was back. Suddenly, they were all very worried. Chip was worried they wouldn't make it home for dinner. Inky was worried they wouldn't make it home before dark. Luna was worried they wouldn't make it home at all. They worried for a while, they argued for a while, they thought for a while, and then Luna had an idea. She flew up high as she could see what she could see and reported back. So she flew up really high. That's a good idea. Ah, from up there I saw two creeks, she said. Both creeks in the forest run from Eagle Lake down to the ocean, Luna explained. So if we go upstream, we'll get back home. Chip frowned and kicked a rock. Chip is in a bad mood. What's wrong, Chip, Inky asked. Luna knows the way back. Upstream? Chip sighed. I thought I could build a raft or something, but that would only get us downstream. Then Inky had an idea out of the clear blue sky, maybe because the sky above them was getting darker and Inky really, really wanted to get home soon. She drew her plan in the dirt to show Luna and Chip. That plan will totally work, Chip shouted. 
and he ran back into the woods. Chip came out with a bunch of fallen trees and started chopping them into pieces with his teeth. With logs and twigs and leafy things they found in the forest, Chip, Luna, and Inky built a raft strong enough to carry them on the creek. They pushed it into the water and hopped on, and it worked. Inky swung her legs off the raft into the water and spun them as fast as she could. The raft zoomed upstream like a motorboat. Woohoo! Luna shouted as they splashed up the creek. Chick used, Chip used his tail to steer while Inky kicked hard with six legs and held on tight with two. Luna looked for Eagle Lake up ahead. Then, just as the sun set behind the treetops, Luna, Chip, and Inky floated into or onto Eagle Lake. They were so happy to be home, they almost forgot how worried they had been and how lost they had felt. But they never forgot how lucky they were to have friends like each other. The and what a great story that was. They kind of used their brains after they got lost. That is all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.